All right, welcome to the tutorial on how to install the N8000 software on Windows 11. Before installing the software, there are some prerequisites you have to install first. First being Net Framework 3.5. This you can find on the Microsoft website. In my case, I already have it downloaded, but if you're unsure if you have it downloaded, you can download it anyways. In a case where you already have it downloaded, it just won't let you download anymore. See, after I click continue, nothing else happens. That's how you know you already have it downloaded. If you didn't have it downloaded, it'll bring you through some processes just to install that. Next, when that's finished, we are gonna move over to downloading the Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express Edition. This being the most important part. In this case, you want to make sure your computer doesn't have any other SQLs on it, and you will, if so, you would have to remove so. You would have to remove it. In the cases where you have other programs that might be using different SQL servers, I would recommend either installing this then on a separate PC or moving those programs to somewhere else or temporarily uninstalling them just for this software. As this software requires the 2019 Express Edition and that alone. Having any others will have the software not work or function. In the case, we're going to click download, save. Hit yes. We're going to download the basic. We don't need to do custom or download the medium, just basic. Click accept, install. It shouldn't take too long, sometimes it takes a few minutes or so, but it gets punched out quite fast. When you're finished, this is the screen you'll see. Installation successful. Great. And you just put this to the side for now. Next, with that now done, we can download the N8000 software. So if you go to the TOA Canada website, you'll scroll up to the top. Under supported documents, you're going to see software. Click on that. Scroll all the way down till you see N8000 IP intercom software that'll bring you to the data library. Here is where we can download the software now. When you scroll down, you will see software highlighted right here. We're going to click on that, agree, and save. Once done, you are going to extract all of this. I already took the liberty and pre-extracted this. It should be about here. Well, let's just extract it again. Why not? Extract all. Extract. Once extracted, we're going to open up, click on Setup. Again, it's going to take you through a few steps. Quite simple. We're going to click next. Agree. Next. Default. Next. Next. And next. Hit yes. And close. From there, we should see the icon there, but we're not done yet. Next, we are going to want to go into Control panel, terminals features on and off, and look for NetFrame 3.5, hit that plus icon, have both of those highlighted, then hit OK.
click close and then not done yet there's one more thing we need to do so if you go into file your file explorer go to this pc local disk let's make this full screen i'm going to program files 86 you're going to look for toa folder click that the n8000 then you can see a n8000 config.mdf right click that go to properties security on the top and every user you can click on edit and then full modify oh yeah full modify apply Full modify, apply. That one has it. Has it? It doesn't do. Full modify, apply. Okay. Not everyone should have full modify. Click OK. Same thing for config. Dot ldf. Right click that. Go on the properties. Security. Click on edit. We want everyone to have full control. Apply. Full control. Apply. Full control. Apply. OK. OK. I'm going to minimize this. And there you go. Once you follow all those steps, you'll be able to go on. Let's call this system setup, though you can call it anything. And hit OK. And we're in the software. Easy piece lemon squeezy. Well, thank you for watching this video on how to install the N8000 software on Windows 11.